Welcome to the Dental Compare Buyer's Guide on Digital Impressions. Now, a lot of people say, well, why Digital Impressions? It's another machine that I have to buy when my traditional goop is working well. Well, traditional goop is working well. The question is, why is Digital Impressions better? With Digital Impressions, you get a highly accurate representation of the tooth of the preparation in question. So it's much more, the clarity, the resolution is much greater than what you can get out of traditional impression materials. The other thing is workflow. Think about if you take an impression uh, for a crown. That crown then gets packaged up, sent to the lab, sits on a loading dock somewhere, getting hot in the sun, might have distortion there. Uh, with the digital impression, you can take the impression and it can literally be uploaded to the lab instantly for approval or for design checks or clearance checks or anything. Uh, so there's, there's a lot of accuracy there. Now that the lab has that impression, they're going to be able to turn it around faster back to you because you just kind of skip through some whole steps of getting that case to them. You're also going to find that once you get the case, the restorations are going to fit better because they were based on a more accurate digital impression. So, so your, your, the quality of your dentistry is going to go up. Now keep in mind when you're getting these machines, yes they do cost a little bit more money, but you're also going to be eliminating the cost of impression material. You're not going to have to store any of this stuff. Plus, with your models, now you have digital models of all your cases. Think about an orthodontic office. They don't have to have those stacks and stacks of models anymore. Everything can be stored on a hard drive for easy use and for long-term storage. So how do these things work? Well, they all have some kind of light source. It might be a laser or a light of a particular wavelength. And it shines down on the object, and surface points are plotted based on distance from the camera to that particular part of the object. So, whether it be the top of the prep or gum tissue down below, it knows the depth there. Now some systems require powder. Powder is simply a contrast medium that allows for a uniform surface for that light to shine down on. So gums versus tooth versus a gold restoration next door all looks the same. So you get an even more accurate image in some cases. Now there's some things to consider when you're gonna buy your own digital impression machine. The size and weight of the camera is huge. You should be able to try this out, feel it in your hand, know that it's not too heavy or bulky for you and you should be able to, to be able to handle it in the operatory and move it around your office. The other thing to be aware of is that there, some of these systems do have fees for different types of case submissions. So just to be aware of that, you wanna know, depending on the type of dentistry you're doing, whether or not there's gonna be extra fees along the way. Also think about the upgrade path. If you eventually want to get into in-office fabrication for restoration such as milling machines, you want to know whether or not this machine has an opportunity to do that at some point. One last thing is that if you have a lab that you like to work with, make sure the digital impression machine that you want uh, is able to basically submit cases to that particular lab. A lot of times they can just sign up too, so it's not a deal breaker, but you want to be aware of, of, of that. Now if you'd like more information, check out the Dental Compare Buyer's Guide on Digital Impressions.